Okay, partial derivative of a natural log function. We're going to first find the partial derivative with respect to x. So the derivative of natural log, um, and we're going to use chain rule on this one. Maybe I should go ahead and point out as well. The derivative of a natural log is typically 1 over whatever's on the inside, if it was a plain old x on the inside. But in this case, we have a complex function on the inside. So chain rule says 1 over copy down the inside function, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of that inner function. And in this case, we're doing a partial derivative with respect to x. So we're treating x as our only variable, and anything else, like the y's, we treat those as though they're numbers, constants. So the derivative of x is 1 multiplied by that constant, so just y, plus we have another x here, so the derivative of x, this is linear, is going to be 2. This last term, though, we're treating that as though it's a constant with these partial derivatives. So its derivative would be 0. Derivatives of constants are zeros. All right, now we could put the y plus 2 up in the numerator, but I'm going to leave my solution just like that. All right, finally, the der partial derivative with respect to y. Again, it's the chain rule where we go 1 over, copy it down the inner function, and it may have been a minute since you thought about the chain rule with a natural log function. Good to review these over. All right, and then we want to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. But this time we're treating the y as though that's our variable. So this first term, we could bring along the x. Derivative of y would just be 1. So the x comes along, multiplied by 1 is just x. That middle term this time around, we're treating the x as though it's a constant, so 2x is just a constant. Its derivative is going to be 0. I'm not going to write that at the bottom. And then the derivative of our last term here is just going to be minus 6, right? Because it's linear, you're just going to be left with that, that constant in front. The derivative of y is just going to be 1. Again, you could put the x minus 6 up in the numerator if you so chose, make it one big fraction. But I hope this helps out as you're uh, working on taking partial derivatives with respect to x or with respect to y.